Today we should taught you two amazing broccoli soups. Creamy and delicious, warm, spiced and herb. You're gonna love them. And we have two options, one for vegans, one for non-vegans. Check them out, Chef Pachi. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Our delicious broccoli soups start here. Step one, cut all our vegetables. In one case, we're gonna have three. In the other one, we're gonna have two basic vegetables. First, we're gonna have our yellow onion and broccoli. These are the big main vegetables. We're also gonna add a tablespoonful of chopped and frozen garlic that you can watch the video and see how I do it so you don't have to chop garlic every day as you cook. We chop all our celery. We actually leave the leaves of our celery for stalks. We only use the stalks here for our soup. Right there in the back, you can see we have some dried herbs that I have for my garden. There's another video on how to dry your herbs in the refrigerator automatically without doing anything. Now for our second soup, we have our leek. We slice our leek first, then wash it because there's a lot of dirt within the leaves of the leek. Once it's completely washed, you slice it thinly and then we chop. This second soup has basically leek and broccoli and also the other basic ingredients, garlic, salt and pepper and some herbs. This one is going to use basil and culantro. Culantro is a Latin herb like cilantro but a little more potent. For our third step, we're gonna cook our onions. This is our saute. We're gonna saute our onions with a garlic and olive oil, salt, and pepper during six minutes. That's it. On medium high, in the Instapot or on a pot, anywhere you want. Just let it cook. If you have very high heat, do it on medium so you don't have to look at it. We're gonna add our herbs to our first soup, which is this one, the onion soup. And look at that, it's looking beautiful. Now we go to our second soup, which is our leek broccoli soup. We put our leek, garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper again in the pot or an Instapot and saute for six minutes too. Same thing, we're just sauteing, bringing out all those aromatics and beautiful flavors from the leek and from the onion on the other soup. Check it out, super easy. This way, it comes out beautiful. Look how it becomes shiny and translucent. For our third step, we are gonna add the rest of the vegetables and we are gonna cook the rest of our soup. We place all of the other vegetables, a pinch more of salt and pepper again into our pot and we are gonna mix. We mix everything before we add the water so they all are very well flavored. Add two cups of water, cover and cook at high pressure for eight minutes. If you don't have a pressure cook it, do it for 15 to 20 minutes. In our second soup, our leek soup, we do exactly the same thing. We add our broccoli, we add our water, and we add a cube of pesto, which is concentrated pesto from another Shepachi's recipe, but you can do it anytime. If you find that it's basil time and you have a beautiful basil, buy all you can and just freeze it. It freezes for months. We cook it the exact same way. We take off the steam from our pressure cooker and blend it. We don't have to let off the steam slowly because it's completely cooked in eight minutes. We blend our soup and it becomes creamy and delicious. Both soups, you do the exact same thing. Here's the second one and it's amazing. They both are creamy, aromatic, full of micronutrients too, but delicious, special. And we're adding some culantro or cilantro, if you can find it, to our leek soup. 
The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna serve our onion, broccoli, and celery soup. We add some almonds on top, and we're gonna flavor it with a little bit of chipotle pepper. One of those two has a lot of chipotle, that's because my husband loves it. And I like it, but not that strong. For the second one, we're gonna prepare this with some non-vegan products for those that are not vegan and are gonna be at home. We're gonna add a couple of prosciutto flowers, which is actually just one and a half ounces, and an ounce of manchego cheese. I slice it thinly in the bottom so that when they eat the soup, it melts up beautiful and delicious. That leaf you see there is culantro. Here we go with two amazing soups that everyone's gonna love at home, vegan or not. Chef Pachi, delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy, Chef Pachi.